hear people talk about a once in a lifetime tag, but I think that this one could even transcend that. They only give one non-resident tag out in this unit uh, in the whole state. And that means, you know, out of 2,000 non-residents that apply, or however many it is, only one guy gets to go. And a lot of those other guys have 15, 20 points, which means that my chances of drawing it, having only been putting in for the last, you know, handful of years is basically next to nothing. So every once in a while you just get one of those, you know, emails in your inbox that just lights you up. And seeing that I drew a limited entry mule deer tag in this state was just spectacular. It's uh, morning one here and we have found our first bucks of the trip. They're about about that big, but they are antlered mule deer, which is so incurred. Up until now, it's been sort of my recharge, the way I go out into the woods and escape, turn my phone off for, for sometimes a week at a time, and just get into the quietness where I can kind of figure out who I am again. Because it, when people are asking you for things all the time and you're constantly on the grind, uh, you kind of get lost even in your own head sometimes. So for me, the wilderness has always been an escape. Um, and I've always sort of done it away from my family. But with this limited entry, once in a lifetime tag, um, I was like, of course I want to bring my family along because I want them to see the area we're going to anyways, even if they don't get to hunt with me at all. If I leave them from camp in the morning and come back after last light, I still want to bring them along and, and have them experience this country with me. I drew this once in a lifetime tag in the middle of an Olympic year. So I'm in the middle of preparing for uh, essentially what is the biggest moment of my career. Or if, or if you're fortunate enough, like I hope to be, to get to go three times, then the three biggest moments in your career. But that means that most of my attention, almost the entirety of my attention this year is focused towards training, getting strong, and being ready for the Olympics in February. So I wasn't able to take two or three scouting trips over here and set trail cameras and you know have all the intel dialed and know exactly where I wanted to camp on first night. Um, I pretty much was, was resorted to reaching out to my contacts list to see if anybody knew where, where to go and e-scouting. And um, then we just got you know launched into it. It was like, all right, I think there should be bucks in here. Let's go find out. and we don't just go to a ranch and buy a beef cow, you know, free range organic beef cow, is because we want to be part of the struggle. Whenever I go out and hunt, no, no matter what species, I always want to find that struggle. What's the struggle going to be for me this time? And this time around, the struggle was finding a giant buck because we were seeing millions of small bucks, bucks that I normally would be happy to shoot. But I knew, wow, there's a lot of these around. On any given day, if we get really come down to the wire, we can probably go get one of these. But I want to find that special, special buck. And that made it really fun. And we also got our asses kicked by some really old, smart bucks. We finally saw them. We went to make a move on them, and they just blew out of there like, like I'm used to deer doing all the time. So um, that made the hunt so much more interesting because um, I got to enjoy almost the safari aspect of it, like seeing a lot of deer and just being like, no, we're gonna let that one walk. Yeah, we're gonna let that one walk too. Ah, uh, that one, he's close to the floor of what I'd shoot, but he's just barely under the floor. We'll keep in mind that he's over here if things get crazy at the end of the hunt. 
and then finally finding the buck that I was like, oh, that's, that's one that I'd be happy with. I definitely wrestled with this idea of am I trying to shoot the buck that I was happy with? Like this, for this once in a lifetime opportunity, what buck am I gonna be happy with? And a lot of that came right down to the fact that my daughter was able to be right there next to me. And we were able to have this moment as a father and daughter and experience it together. And it was a big old buck. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend that I wasn't stoked on that buck. But if I had been alone, I might've been like, oh, maybe I'll wait for an even bigger one or maybe not, but because she was there and she was able to stalk in with me and actually watch the thing happen live, um, that just made it so much more powerful, it was cool.